This dribbling warm-up is sure to improve your player's ball control and skills. The coach sets up three cones at the bottom, close enough that the ball can pass between them and two cones each seven to eight yards in front. Players start by conducting various mobility exercises followed by a sprint or shuttles to the two forward cones. Players work in pairs to ensure minimal waiting time and to maximize contact time with the ball. This also allows players time to rest between exercises so they can work harder in the sprints. Mobility exercises should include things like one leg hopping over the red cones then accelerating away or shuffling forward between the cones. The coach has lots of freedom to vary these exercises and can move the middle red cone forward to create a triangle and expand the exercises available to them. Once the players are suitably warmed up, the coach introduces a ball to each pair. Players should now conduct exercises around the red cones before accelerating to dribble forward to the blue cones. On the way back, players can either dribble and play a short pass to their partner or play a long pass from the last blue cone. Receiving players must adjust their position to receive the ball and progress straight into their exercise. Exercises with the ball can include dribbling around the red cones, working on sharp turns or can push and pull the ball between the cones. The cones can also be used like a slalom to dribble through. The coach has lots of freedom to introduce their own technical movements. Give